November 2012 that the pair first locked eyes across the sticky dance floor with a dirty <laughs> backpacker down under her. <laughs> Michaela assumed that Ben and his friends were there to pick up Swedish backpackers. Her and her girlfriends were definitely there to pick up Swedish backpackers. We saw Ben and his friends dancing and totally taking over the dance floor. <laughs> And then, through the darkness and the flashing lights, Michaela was stopped in her tracks. And Ben just then like looked up at me and he had this big massive smile and uh, in like the darkness um, of the Down Under Bar, <laughs> all I could see was his big like warm smile and I remember in that moment just wow. I remember seeing Michaela across the room um, and our eyes kind of met and um, I still remember she gave me this this big smile and her her whole face kind of lit up and and I knew straight away that I I wanted to go over and talk to her and yeah I just went for it. They will both attest <laughs> the time stopped. <laughs> thousand white doves <laughs> and we just clicked immediately. We started talking about music. We started talking about our our plans to go traveling and that we wanted to go and explore the world and we just hit it off from the first moment. She was just so vibrant and full of life. Like immediately I just knew that this was unlike any other person I'd met and she just made me feel so happy straight away. Some learnings from Ben, they were very important, like honesty. Other times Ben taught me about the power of discretion. He uh, had a friend that basically bought a sword that they wanted to use in a play. Before he took the edge off it, and that's the important part, he came home and he very proudly shows me this sword. And part of me in that moment knew I was going to get stabbed with that sword. And then Ben gets a bit closer into the room. I'm like, that's cool, man, but just like keep it, keep it at that distance, no closer, please. And at this point, I've I've chosen the possum position of just freeze. That'll that'll be the best way to get out of this. And then he just starts stabbing the sword either side of me, just playing around like. Whoa. And then the last thing that he said before he stabbed me was, check out how sharp it is. Which in retrospect makes the story sound a little more intentional than I first thought it was. Uh, so yeah, he stabbed me with a sword in the upper leg, which like left a scar that still still aches on cold winter nights, Ben. <laughs> Went in like butter, Ben says. Not a lot of regret in that statement, so... <laughs>to uh, worry about it being too serious because she only had a few months before she was going to be gone and heading overseas and it wasn't until that moment that she um, she was boarding the plane to leave to go over to Europe with a plan to stay there that it, it hit me that I was I was losing someone that, that meant so much to me. The moment I knew Ben was the one was when <sighs> I was leaving him to go to London and I went down the escalator at the airport and I thought maybe I should go back. Sorry. But he followed me so I guess that's the second time that I knew he was the one. And I didn't know it then but that connection was, was going to be too strong to ever leave um, and I, I hadn't had any plans to, uh, to go and move over to London but it, it happened. I just had to chase her over there, I had to follow and I'm so glad that I did. It was, um, it, for that moment, really changed my life completely. My promise to you is that as we grow and change, we move forward together. Hand in hand, we make each other stronger. I promise to always be your rock, your calm place. I promise to be understanding and kind and to always be the one to make you smile. 
You are, above all else, my best friend, and I can't believe that I'm so lucky to have you in my life. To feel such deep love and devotion for you, and then to see that same depth of love reflected back in your eyes, is the most amazing feeling in the world. I promise to always hold on to that feeling. I promise to be yours always. For you, I will be the best version of myself. I will inspire you to be all that you can be, loving what I know of you and trusting in what I am yet to discover. For you, I will always strive to communicate with an open and full heart, to learn with you and grow with you, even as time changes us both. For you, I will be the joy to your heart and the food for your soul. I will make this life as exciting and happy and passionate as it can be, taking every breath I have to strive for your happiness. Sorry. <laughs> for you, I will always foster and cherish our relationship, knowing that together we will build a life far better than either of us could imagine alone. My darling Ben, you are all that I could ever need in this life. Let us always be partners, lovers, and best friends, and share in our amazing adventures in life, and grow old together. Do you solemnly swear to get loose, <laughs> celebrate, and party like it's 2019? Okay, so some of you will be surprised to hear that Michaela is actually already married to someone other than Ben. Yes? <laughs> Bombshell? <laughs> you heard right. She's still technically married to her cousin Kelly. <laughs> Who is somewhere here tonight? There she is. <laughs> it happened back when we were kids and was definitely legit. <laughs> I was the priest who ordained the union while Michaela and Kel were dressed up in mum and dad's old wedding attire. It took place in the backyard near the trampoline and there's even photo evidence of it somewhere. <laughs> that said, today I joyfully renounced that marriage so this one can go ahead. You're welcome guys. There was a weekend that Mickey sent us a photo. It's Mickey in her gorgeous little floral hat. She's got the, you know, she's got the safety, safety gloves on. And she's wielding a chainsaw <laughs> against the log that she's methodically turning into, into firewood. And I'm thinking, wow, <laughs> you know, this is a woman of substance. In Indianapolis, back after the Industrial Revolution, they would go out on the lake in their canoes and this is where the term canoodling came from. Instead of both people facing the same direction, they would actually face each other. They would look into each other's eyes and they would enjoy each other's company. So please take time out to do that. Well, finally, with 2020 being the year it's been, I'd like to present you both with a gift. A gesture of my love for you guys and a significant financial investment to kick off your married life together. No need to thank me. <laughs> Don't spend it all at once. Got a good experience of a large, dysfunctional, crazy family and I can't wait to have a second one. <laughs> You know, from day to day, life sometimes feels like you're going down a set of rapids at a really fast pace. 
your canoe is going to keep you guys safe. Um, and we are all drinking from that canoe tonight. We learnt in those days, Myth had a sharp tongue when provoked, and she wasn't going to let her gender define her existence. So, Benny, beware. You may have to bear a child one day. <laughs> Apparently it's all about equality, man. Can you imagine Ben at age three? Can we start at the beginning? Yeah. Look, he's always been a pretty happy fella, like really happy. But uh, I suppose in the first couple of years of Chris's life, we got a little concerned that Chris wasn't talking much. And, uh, and the reason was that it was Ben talking for him about everything. <laughs> In that moment that our eyes first met, I could not have known the future we would create together. But even then, I knew there was a pull that drew me to you and that beaming face full of life and energy. It's that same face that I've now glimpsed a thousand times over, willing me on, encouraging me, accepting me and loving me. A partner I would discover to be the most complex, kind <laughs> and beautiful soul I had ever met. That smile and your whole personality is just pure sunshine. And I'm privileged to feel its warmth every day in this wonderful life of ours. I want nothing more in this world than to be your wife.